creativity is an addiction. You have to live with it. You were born with it. You're going to die with it as well. But we don't get to see that side of the story because the person doesn't instantly wake up and say, you're not going to believe what my mind was doing while I was dying. But but it's going to be with you. And I don't mean to be so blunt and dark right now. I'm just I'm just just laying it out on the line. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I think it's interpretation. That's how we can best describe what it is that we do as writers. It's interpreting what is going on around us. Not, not just a, a journal writer or a journalist or an author of action or mystery or crime. There's always something taking place around us. So we try to interpret what is going on. And we, you know, so, some writers like to build a story around it and, and, and turn it into a, a, a something for the imagination of a passerby or reader. And then there are those that like to deal with facts and facts only. One of the things that I'm, I'm, I'm really surrounded with, how many stories are going to rise from the destruction of Ukraine? Not social media posts from journalists, but family stories from actual citizens whose lives have changed so quickly. The limerick, you know what the limerick is, right? It rose from the darkest times in Ireland. Poetry was shared in Central America during their days of war in the 1980s and 90s. Our journals being kept in Ukraine right now. I, I guess I'm being nosy. Yet I speak with so many creative people that broke through many barriers during their time in COVID-19 lockdown. I realize it wasn't an, an invasion and it wasn't a war, but life as we knew it had changed and uncertainty was the new king. They pushed their creative energy forward and today we are receiving the end result of their art and how they didn't stop with creativity. Streaming is a global expression that reaches beyond your borders. Allow the seeds to be planted. It's time that you start sharing your story. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. My very first book, it actually, which was strange because it wasn't supposed to go this way, One Man's Thousand Twenty One Thoughts, actually documented the journey and the birth of an artist on canvas. And, and, and I was that guy, yeah, but, but when you go back and you read it all these years later, you're reading about somebody else. You, you see somebody else's shoes and, and the steps that they were taking. And, and my second book, the follow-up, Another 1,021 Thoughts, took us through the dark period after 9-11, Oh, my God, to relive it and, and being that vivid on a page. It, that's what I love about being a daily writer is that you can express and let it grow in other areas of the world. This is the daily mess. Bringing energy to the words you speak. Naturally, the very first step would be to have the confidence in what you speak. Getting to that point requires a journey of not always being agreed with, especially with yourself. I mean, think about this. Without words, there's always going to be an entanglement. The leader of Ukraine has kept his words active and up to date, whereas the other side isn't speaking in tones that bring a better understanding. There are rumors that both leaders are going to get together, but rumors are like assumption. Remember, the first step is having the confidence to speak. There is no movement in assumption. And if you're assuming it's only a rumor. Being transparent, our nation is using millions of dollars to speak. Ah, the good old US of A, right? Millions and billions of dollars. That's how we're speaking. Sadly, on this side of the nation's actions, giving money away, those aren't words. That's just giving money away. Where are the words? How are you going to use your words? Bringing energy to the words you speak. Naturally, the first step would be to have the confidence in what you speak. Where are the words from this part of the world? I'm Errol. And that's the Daily Mess.